Hey everyone, this is your rustic mystic. My name is Siddharth and I'm back with Just for Today from Narcotic Anonymous as well as Alcoholic Anonymous. And please remember to like, subscribe and share my videos so that others can benefit from the same as you are. And today's thought is something that is very, very important to understand properly because today's thought says that we should make amends without expectations. Making amends with expectations is always going to give us failure. That's what the book says. Let's see what it says. Projections about actually making amends can be a major obstacle both in making the list and in becoming willing. Okay, let's go further. It is from basic text page number 39 and uh, all right, the eighth step asks us to become willing to make amends to all persons we have harmed. Remember to make amends to all the people that we've harmed. Now, as we approach this step, we may wonder what the outcome of our amends will be. Will we be forgiven? relieved of our lingering guilt or will we be tarred and feathered by the persons we've harmed? That's a natural thought to come into any people, any person who comes up and asks you if I'm asking your forgiveness, if I'm seeking forgiveness, do I get your forgiveness? Because I have gone through a lot of uh, personal uh, battles to reach you so please forgive me now that's not the case everywhere and our tendency to seek forgiveness must be surrendered if we expect to receive the spiritual benefits of the eighth and ninth step if we approach these steps expecting anything we are likely to be very disappointed with the result because in some cases yes a person who's very close to you might might just forgive you or give you the forgiveness that you're seeking. But in some cases where you've done a lot of harm, harm out of everybody's expectations, probably you will never get forgiveness or you may get forgiveness a little later. Now we want to ask ourselves if we are pinning our hopes on gaining the forgiveness of the person to whom we are making amends or maybe we are hoping we will be excused from our debts by some sympathetic creditor moved to tears by our hard luck story. Now, are we looking for sympathy? Are we looking for forgiveness? Are we looking for what? Each time we make an amend, we cannot be looking for anything. Maybe it forgiveness or sympathy or uh, favorable look to your story. We cannot, cannot, cannot look for anything. All we need to do is remind that person that I have done harm to you and I will request your forgiveness with humility and whether you give it to me or not, it's up to you. We need to be willing to make amends regardless of the outcome. Now, in some cases, there might be some people who might just slap you or not talk to you or may abuse you. We can plan the amends but can't plan the result. Although we may not be granted a full pardon by everyone to whom we owe amends, we will learn to forgive ourselves. In the process, we will find that we no longer have to carry the burden of the past. Now, in certain cases, people might be angry. In in my case, I remember that when I made an amend with a friend, first he shoved me, he hit me. Then we hugged each other because he also had the right to lighten his uh, burden of anger that he had. Once he did that, we hugged each other until date we are very very close friends so maybe that will happen to you who knows but even if that doesn't happen you will learn how to forgive yourself and you will not carry the burden along with you all right just for today 
I will let go of any expectations I have on people to whom I owe amends. Amen to that and keep coming back. It works if you work it.